is up guys? So today's video is actually going to be my top 10 summer fragrances. What makes this video a little bit different is that a lot of these fragrances really don't get any mention in any video, but also in some of the Facebook groups. But to be fair, some of these fragrances were released this year alone. So let's just get into it. At number 10, we're going from the House of Ferragamo and we're going with Subtle Put On. So some of the notes, you got ginger, citrus, coriander, cardamom. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this one right, uh, subtle, subtil, you know, and if that's really what it's supposed to translate into, subtle, because this to me is a bit of a subtle fragrance, uh, just a great fragrance and it, you get about four hours of longevity. So at number nine, we're going from the house of Davidoff and no, it's not cool water, but it is a flanker and that we're going with cool water frozen. Now this does have uh, cool water DNA and green, um, cool water is very green and it's very fresh. So is this one, but it, to my nose, it has a bit of, a, uh, of a, an aquatic spin to it, if you will. It's a little bit lighter, but still a really good fragrance. Uh, some of the notes, lavender, jasmine, that oak moss that's in uh, the original, but also uh, orange blossom. I think it's a great fragrance, um, and it's very casual. I, I think it's very fresh and it's clean and it's just it's kind of invigorating so I, at number eight so this one was released this year and I got two decants from uh, Mr. Fragrance Fanatic one Al but also Brooklyn Fragrance Lover so gentlemen if you're watching thank you very much and this is Calvin Klein CK1 Summer uh, 2016 um, it is very fresh it is casual it reminds me of a resort, uh, of a, a resort. Uh, with that, uh, that mojito, that guava, that coconut milk, and the, the lime. It's at number seven. We're going from the house of Hugo Boss and we're going with Boss Unlimited. So um, there's only four notes in this one. Three notes that I know off by hand are, um, are woods, mint, and um, uh, pineapple. A lot of the Boss fragrances are pretty much hit or, well, I would say they're probably more misses to a lot of us. But this one I do like. Uh, it's one of the, the few flankers that I would think is worth keeping. I think it's just very different with that mint and that pineapple. It is masculine and I like it. At number six, we're going from the House of Thallium. So this one's been around for a little while, I believe. And we're going with Thallium Sports. So you got, um, got vanilla, lemon, pepper, water lily, you got citruses. This one was just really good and I really like this one. Um, it is casual, it is fun, and I find that the vanilla in this kind of give it a bit of a flirty feel, if you will. I just think at number five, we're going from the house of Cartier or Cartier, forgive my French, and we're going with Essence d'Orange uh, or uh, L'eau d'Essence d'Orange. I actually got this from Max 40 uh, recently and I am not disappointed with this purchase. It's got um, citrus, violet, patchouli, cedar. I, this, to a lot of people from what I read on Fragantica, um, is more toned down and it really doesn't last a long time, but the three or four times that I've worn this one, I've gotten at least six hours and I think it's great. So very masculine, but also very classy. At number four, we're going from the house of Boyce 1920. We're gonna go with a niche this time, gentlemen, and we're going with Agrumi Amari di Sicilia. So please forgive my pronunciation. It's just as bad as my French, I know. This one is just very well done. It's well blended. Uh, some of those citrus, petit green, lavender, black currant. This is unisex, so ladies, you can definitely wear this one quite easily. It's not more masculine, it's not more feminine. It's right down the middle and I really do like this one. Very fresh and very natural. At number three, this one is a new release that came out this year. It's from the house of Mont Blanc or Mont Blanc and that is Legend Spirit. Now I actually got a gift card from uh, Mr. Cody, Mr. Drakta, but this one stood out a little bit from a lot of the other ones out there. Some of the notes are uh, watery notes, lavender, citrus, white woods, pink pepper and more. The opening is just so great. It's uh, fresh. It's invigorating. I love it. Uh, so Cody, for watching again, thank you very much. This was just a great purchase. So at, at number two, I originally had this fragrance in my collection, and I don't know why, but I ended up getting rid of it, and I am glad it is back to me. This is from the house of Canali, guys. This is just I love this fragrance. You know. As I stated, I don't know why I got rid of it. 
Canali Summer Night. Uh, notes, leather, pineapple, melon, tonka bean, cardamom with a ton more. A lot of the Canalis have just a long list of notes. This is very different from a lot of the other designers out there. Unfortunately, it is discontinued. But this is masculine, it is classy, it is elegant. Every single time that I've worn it uh, in the last couple weeks, I've gotten notice. I've gotten positive feedback. Um, this would be like, if I had to make uh, a compliment list, this would surely make it. So at number one now, so if you're very familiar with my channel, if you've been watching for a while, I have mentioned this one before. It's from the house of Ferrari. And again, if you're familiar, you probably guessed it right. Ferrari Bright Neroli. So this is a very fresh, very zesty, well, maybe zesty to some degree, but very bright, refreshing, invigorating. Some of the notes, um, Neroli, citrus, orange blossom, Szechuan pepper, there's some woods in it. I love this one, guys. Um, I have stated on camera that it does remind me of Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. It's just a little bit uh, more toned down and one third the price. But uh, my friend Cy, Frag Boy Stewie, actually decanted, um, I don't know how much, but it, like I have not used all this. I decanted quite a bit for a lot of the guys out there in hopes that uh, they get to try it and that they enjoy it. But Cy stated that this actually reminds him of Mugler Pure Cologne or Mugler Cologne. Uh, I, forget, I forget the name of it, but it's very soapy. Uh, this... However, I absolutely adore. It's not sold in the States. That's why I gave uh, decants to a lot of the guys down there, uh, just so they could try it out. I, I think it's worth it. You know, it's only here in Canada, but also uh, parts of Europe. So if it sells in the States, make sure that you try it out. I think it's just, the line itself is actually really good. So Ferrari definitely put it uh, stepped up with their Essence line. So that's, so that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please share. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.